Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Jen Skinner Art. A lot of people say to me, how come they never see me on the YouTube videos that I do? And it's because I prefer to be behind the camera than in front of it. But anyway, here I am and I'm going to try something a little bit different with you today. Now, anybody who knows even a little bit about me knows that I like small things. I like miniatures particularly miniature books because I also have a love of reading and a love of art. So over recent times I've been making lots and lots of little mini books that are really little art journals. So they're what I've been working on over the last little bit and sometimes what I like to do is actually cut pictures of artworks or colours or things that inspire me out of magazines and then I cut those up into little strips and concertina them together and then I make the book. And when I do that, I like to actually acknowledge who the original artist was with the work. So this one here was Sarah Paxton. Now, if I do a lot of painting over the top of the artwork, then I don't necessarily tag the original artist. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But if I've really gone over every page and I've made it my own, then it's become my own artwork. The other thing that I really like to do is if there's an article, which there usually is, that accompanies the piece of artwork that has inspired me, then I go along and I highlight all the words that jump out at me, things that um, seem to resonate with me that has been written in the text. And then I go along and I cut those words out and I have fun playing and rearranging those words until I come up with um, like a little poem or some verse or something. And it usually reflects me and how I'm feeling. However, it's taken directly from what the artist was expressing about their own artwork. So it's sort of like this, this mashup of things. And I've got one here and I called it Here and Now. And it goes like this. At that moment, painting sparked feelings of beauty, wonder, inspiration and joy into my consciousness. I love how free it is to paint surrounded by the beauty of the world, craving a freedom from the chaos of my personal life, a sense of wonder in my own little studio. There we go. So... They're the pictures. When I cut up the artwork, I don't even put them back in in the original order. Um, I just put the strips together as I like them. Now, at night, when uh, we're, maybe my husband's got the news on or possibly we're watching um, some TV or a movie or something like that, I don't like to just sit there and not do anything. So I... I have a big container of paint markers that I have beside me. I also have gel pens and these ones um, I take to and fro. So I've got some that are, you can't quite see them, but they're here, they're in their um, special shelving and they stay in my art room all the time but these ones they go backwards and forwards as I need them. This is one of my latest pieces that I've just finished and I'm thinking of using it as a book cover so I'm, I'll probably cut that up into a number of little pieces and then what I do my starting point for all of these is usually artwork that um, has come about because I've tried something or I'm experimenting with colours or it's an old piece of work that I no longer um, like or find interesting. Sometimes too, I, I well, I usually keep paper beside me when I'm painting and I just wipe excess off on it. And I've got a good example of that here. I'd actually finished my painting and then 
the paint that was left sort of on my table, I put this piece of paper down in it and smudged it round and I ended up with this example. Uh, here is another one where, you know, I've just been playing on both sides. And I've got a few others, smaller ones that I can select. So trying to get them in the shot for you. I might go this one next because I really, really don't like it. <laughs> so that's a good, good starting point. And um, here are a few more. And here are a couple that I would class as finished. So you can see that one. And then this was probably started out about six years ago where I was learning to draw mandalas. And this was actually an A3 size. And I got sick of doing it. Anyway, I've cut it in half and finally come back to it. And this box here is full of unfinished artwork. Here, look, there's the first page. Um, so some of these have actually come out of there. So it's quite interesting to go through that from time to time and see what I, what I find. Um, anyway, I hope that this has been a little bit of fun, that you've um, now know what I look like if you didn't already. And um, hopefully you don't mind the fact that I've just come straight from the gym and I'm still dressed accordingly. But anyway, the dogs are all asleep. No one's in the house. And I thought now's a good time. All right. Um, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. If it's evening, I hope you've had a wonderful day. And above all, have fun with your artwork.